Mortgage rates continue their three week climb, hitting the highest rates we've seen so far this year. And we might be seeing the first signs of downward pressure on sale prices in Portland real estate. Join me as we take a look at the latest stats and trends of our local real estate market. The average sale price took a 6% dive after a couple of weeks of pretty strong numbers. Even with the plunge though, the average still didn't drop below last year's numbers, but only just barely. We ended up $578 higher than roughly last year at this time. Like I've said in the past, we are dealing with a relatively small number of transactions in our week to week statistics. So we can see a bit of volatility in our stats and I'd like to see a couple more weeks of statistics before we look at this and say, hey, that's a new trend. The deals that gave us this week's average sale price were likely agreed to just before rates started their most recent rise. I suspect that the next few weeks are going to reflect some more downward pressure on sale prices and homeowner equity. Looking at demand, the number of purchase agreements signed by buyers and sellers was down by 3% compared to the previous week, but still outperformed last year's market, but only by three deals. That's a really small gap compared to what we've been seeing over the last few months. And again, I'd like to see what the next couple of weeks show for statistics, but unless we see some softening in interest rates, I suspect we're going to see continued downward pressure on buyer demand. We're definitely seeing more homes hit the market this year than last year at this time, 30% more in fact this last week, and that's coming off of 7% more the previous week and 36% more the week before that. This already looks like a new trend. I suspect the reason for these bigger numbers is a bit of fatigue. I think that we have some sellers who've been sitting on the sidelines for a couple years now, waiting for the market to change. And I suspect that more and more of them are deciding it's time to get on with their lives and they're listing their homes for sale. On average, sellers are only having to discount about 1.4% off their original asking price to secure the successful sale of their home. But we may start to see that change in the next few weeks as interest rates stay high, affordability is a big problem and something's got to give. And likely in that scenario with high interest rates, it's going to be sale prices. We did see a bit of a jump in bank owned homes on the market. This is the biggest number that we've seen going back pretty much to the end of the foreclosure moratorium. It's still a relatively small number, but one that we're going to keep an eye on. Residential mortgage rates have been on the rise since about April 1st, and we did hit a high for the year just this week. The most competitive rate that I could see this morning was about 7% for the 30 year fixed. However, most rates that I was seeing range from about 7.5% all the way up to 8%. The Fed board is meeting on Tuesday and Wednesday of this next week, so I may have some more information for you when we check in again next Friday. Well, you crossed the finish line for this week's market roundup. Whether you're buying, selling, investing, or just curious, be sure to follow and subscribe to stay ahead of the curve when it comes to Portland real estate. And I'll catch you right here next week at this time for the latest in stats and trends.